Hello everybody, what is up? This is Mr. Boss. So, over the next week or so, I am going to be making a series regarding my 2019 tax returns. So before I get into this, I want everyone to understand that I am not crazy, that I did not make this because I am crazy with the government. The government is the crazy ones. They are the ones that expect me, of all people, to file a return correctly and to understand how much money I owe the IRS and to pay them and it is against the law not to pay them what they are supposed to be paid. I was given an incorrect income amount. I had called this individual's phone number three times over the course of five days. It has now been almost a week since I have started calling him. And my last phone call, I think I may have gone over the edge but you have to understand that I called two other times on this matter and I am very frustrated with this person. I have no idea why he has decided to ignore my phone calls. I was given the correct number for him and I verified it in another video where I talked to another HR personnel individual. And I had the right to record the phone call because they stated in the message that they are going to record phone calls for insurance purposes. And so I feel that it is my right as a U.S. citizen to record what they say as well, since they are recording me and what I say. However, this may not be admissible in court, and I want you to be my jury. I want you to decide whether or not this should be used in a courtroom, whether there should be um, evidence that I didn't mishandle my tax returns. So, to get into the situation, um, my problem is that I had my tax returns returned to me in January of 2020, and the total income was incorrect. I checked the total income and put it next to my, next to my paychecks, and I added up all of the paychecks, and it led to me getting $813.33. However, my last paycheck taxes were left out. And so there is significant money missing from the taxes that were filed. And I believe that they were mishandled. Um, I believe that whether it's under what it's supposed to be for the taxes that I've filed or over what it's supposed to be. It is incorrect and that is the way it works. I went online and it does not disclose anything about it being over or under. Um, math is math. If the number is over or under what it's supposed to be, it is an incorrect number. Okay, It doesn't matter. So I have called this individual three times over five days and all three times he has not answered his phone. I understand that he could be on vacation or something, but it's like, I feel like they have a responsibility to me to at least give me a reliable phone number. And I've called over five days. I don't understand why he would go on vacation that long. And, um, 
why someone wouldn't notify him and tell him what my phone number is. I left my phone number on another voicemail. I didn't leave it on this voicemail because I had already left it on his voicemail two other times. I did not want to seem too forward. I didn't want to seem like I was trying too hard with, uh, with the phone numbers because if I had said it three times, then it would have been excessive. But I am sure that the individuals at the NSA would be more than happy to give the records from that from those two other phone calls. I recorded this phone call, so they don't need to disclose that one. However, it might be easier to go and track this number down and find out where it is. I believe that it is in some building somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh, it could be a landline number that they gave me. Um, yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this nice series in the People versus John Dugan. Um, I think that it's a, it's a perfect name for the, for the series. The People vs. John Dugan, I feel like, is the best name for this series. Um, and we're gonna do, like, every day. Um, <clears throat> so that it is that much more interesting. Starting tomorrow, of course. Um... Yeah, I am not crazy, and I'm sure that um, a lot of people who are crazy would say that. <laughs> but there's no other way to really say it. I mean, I'm not, I'm just not crazy. You have to believe that. So, if you were to take the first three paychecks and they were just accounting for them, I would have just made $673.71 from my total income for that year, for 2019. Because if they weren't counting the last week of December, then it would be a lot less and there would be more justification to look into it because then you know i would have made um well there would be a gap of 204 dollars and 77 cents because 878 and 48 cents minus 700 673 dollars and 71 cents is 204 dollars and 77 cents and you guys in the comments are gonna go, oh, what a big reveal. He can do basic math, but this is more than basic math, okay? I mean, it is basic math, but there's more troubling matters to that. Number one is that the um, more that I was supposed to make in my paycheck and my total income then the more i was supposed to pay in taxes so ups owes me money they owe me that much money if they are just counting the the first three paychecks and that is what i was supposed to make for that and the last one is supposed to be for for 2020 um, that means there's significant hours that I have worked that aren't being counted and they messed up. So what would you guys do in this situation? 
if you were given a, a check for $69 and you thought that this might be the case, that this might be incorrect, would you go and cash the check knowing that you probably owe the IRS at least a hundred bucks? Maybe more than that? Who knows? I mean, I have been calling this individual. Obviously, I didn't record the first two times because I believed that he might answer the phone. But I had a feeling and I believe that I have told um, or that I have said in the video before I, re I recorded the phone call that he would not pick up the phone. And I said blatantly that he did not answer the phone. So it's like, how would I guess? How would I guess that he didn't, that he wouldn't answer the phone if I didn't already call before, you know? It's like, you know? So anyway, guys, I really hope that you enjoy this, this nice series that I'm gonna show you about how I am completely innocent of tax fraud. I'm innocent. I was given this, I was given this, um, this, this check from them. I can't find it right now. I was given this check from the federal government here that says right here $69 I don't know if you can read backwards I think it's backwards stupid cameras so what would you do in my situation like you know I I don't really know what to say so, it was so difficult to get in contact with the HR department. It was so difficult to find the number that I wrote it down here on this piece of paper. And I know that it was the number for them, even though I wrote it down five days ago, is because I tried it in that last video that you're going to see probably a week from now. Um... And it led to the same, the same number um, that I was in contact with that other time. There is no way that I knew that it is so hard to, to prove yourself not guilty, you know, in a situation like this. It is so difficult. I might even be charged guilty anyway. I might even still be charged guilty of this, of this crime if I decide to cash that check. Because who knows how much money I'm supposed to pay them. And I have no idea. It was the UPS people who filed the tax returns, who gave them, who sent them to me. Okay? But I believe in my heart of hearts that our system is broken. Completely, utterly broken. And I don't trust the government. I don't. I don't trust the government at all. And I believe that they would do that to me if I decided to cash this check. I believe that they would charge me with tax fraud. And I would have to pay them probably a hefty, a hefty fine if I didn't figure out how much I was supposed to pay them and they would charge me and probably send me to jail, which would be really terrible uh, for my record, for everything, because that goes on your record forever. Any employer that tries to hire you gets to look at that and then they see what you did. Anyway, guys, see you in the docuseries. Hope you enjoy that. Hope it's fun to watch and See you tomorrow.